Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's go on to class. Okay. So this is the okay. Yeah, you can hear me, right? Yes, sir. Yes. So this is the um, site we are going to replicate. Try and replicate. Yes. So let us begin. Mm. Uh, okay. So let's see how uh, how, how far we've gone. It doesn't necessarily mean to, need to be exactly like their own. We can make things uh, look like our own original kind of, but we'll just look at their pattern. Mm -hmm. Then make it our own. So let's go live for this one. Yeah, so these are our own. <laughs> now, so it's looking fine. It's unique in its own way. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So what will happen is that um, um, what you do is just to add this icon, cut icon, in case someone wants to make an order. Okay. No, ours is a different setup. Okay. Uh, ours is not really a, a commercial like sites for people to go and buy things. Okay, okay. Ours is more like a research site where someone can mm -hmm. pick, see the various types of foods, their nutritional content, health tips on how to take uh, foods, how foods affect the body and all those things, like that kind of site. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, I think we can... Or how do you suggest we do it? Should we combine all? We combine commercial and combine um, uh, something so maybe like we can, Yeah, what is it? Maybe we can do the commercial on later. Okay, later, right? Okay, okay. Yeah. So let, let's start with just normal. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, so we'll just pick the important. I won't do uh, this site a lot, like it's a big site. So we'll just pick the important parts out of there. Okay, so we've done the header successfully. I think we have done that. Yeah. We'll leave ours like this. It doesn't need to be like this. Uh, yeah. So let's do the, the main page. That is the hero section. Yes, so what they did is that they got an image, that is this big image I are saying, then they put text beside it here. So let's get our own image. We're not going to use their, their own, let's research on our own and get our own image from a site that you can easily download. You know, it's not all sites that give you permission to yeah. download. So let's see if we can um, uh, put, Wherever we get to at the end of the class, um, we'll just stop there then. Um, uh, we can continue tomorrow. We'll have another class tomorrow. Okay. Yes. So don't forget, as you are practicing, if you encounter any challenge, just um, just post it on the group chat. Yeah. Okay. So the background, yes. We need a very captivating background. That means very attractive background. Uh, tropical foods. Let's see this one. This one is cool. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. So let's see. Uh -huh, yes, yeah, exactly. So the text can be here. Where there's yes. okay, this space for the text. Let's see if we can download this. Uh, can I download? Yeah, download the image. 
I just pay it works out well. Yeah, thank God. It works well. So this site is, gives permission to download. Yeah. Um, so what we will do is to go to our folder, then go to where you downloaded it to. Then you have to paste it in. Okay. Let's just say foot background or, or hero background. That section that we're doing now is the hero section. The one that we finished is the header section. So this one is okay. the section. So we rename this, it's too long. So hero background. Well, you can use underscore to separate or, or dash, any of them. Yes. So let me get the folder we are doing now. We are encoding classes. We are in um, foot up. So this thing by the edge is to open up the folder. Then these the images. So all you can do is just to transfer instead of wasting time, like just move it. And it's, so it's automatically enter the image. Yes. So if we now go to our VS code here, let me make this bigger so I can see. I want to hide this stuff. Yes. Okay. So if you open the images now, you see hero image background. Yeah. yeah. So that image is meant to be under, it's meant to be next after this header. So you know what I'm doing with header section. So I have to open another section for the hero. Is a different section. Our section always goes with ID as we've learned. So we can name it hero. Yes. So I named it like so that when you are going to your code, you remember that this first one is yep. called he header. Okay, then this next one is called hero. Yes. Or you can say main, hero or main, main section, hero section. Because why they call it hero is that. Any page that you enter, that is the first thing that your eye will, eye will meet. Yes. yes. So it has to be very, very attractive. Like that's what I'm looking for. So when I say image, just as we did this image here, we we'll open a tab, image source, SRC. Or let's first close it up so it doesn't give us problem. So you do image, then you now put SRC. Um, so now you can link this hero background uh, image. So you do dot slash images slash the hero background. I think your stuff is echoing or something. Um, yes, sir. Thank you. So the alternate, you know, you can name it hero background. Hero background. Yeah. Okay, so what will happen now is that, um, okay, let's first check, check it. So I will know how to adjust, because it's going to be very, okay, it's not, it surprised me, it's not so big like that. So it has appeared now, it should appear on your end, I guess. Yes, sir. Okay, so now I will have to adjust the width, make it cover, you see they are on, they are on covers, everything. Everything. Yes, so what to and the height of their own ends, the height of their own ends here. So our own to us to cover the whole place. That's why they call it hero. It's the hero of the page, <laughs> the star of the page. So it covers every most of the parts of the page. Yeah, so let's go to the styling now. So we've styled it. Um, Okay, let's put it in a div. This hero is just to control the whole thing. So let's put this image in a div. So that it's covering, it can be easy for us to... So to, to cut things out, you know there's copy and there's cut. Copy is just to copy. It's the thing you say, yes. or you copy it. But cut is to remove it. It's copy and remove. That is control X. To copy and remove, then 
you can paste it onto B. Here, just like that. Okay, so now we can name this div class. We can name it um, um, hero, hero background. Hero background. This is called camel kiss, kissing. Camel kissing. That means it's like a camel. It has a hunch. Okay. It, it's a combination of small letters first, then the capital B. And for the second word. So the first word is all small letters, then the second word starts with a capital letter and then small letters. Yeah, camel kissing. You use it in JavaScript a lot. So it's good you practice <laughs> practice now so that you can get used to it. Yeah. So when you copy this, you now go to your um, CSS. Yeah. And you now go down below this one. So you now do dot background. Um, I think what to add the image. Yes. Background the IMT. That is for the tab. Since we are dealing with image. Yeah. So we increase the width. Width of it, let's say hundred percent. Let's see if that converts. Great. So, uh, what to? Uh, okay, let's. I'm coming. Yeah, we have to this margin. I don't want this left and right margin. Let me see how I can remove that margin left. So, no oh, margin zero. I don't want to see the margin. Okay, let's do um, margin left. No, I'm coming. Uh, okay, let's do margin left. Let's take it away, minus something. Because the arm was covered, there was no space. So that's two minus five pixels. Yeah, so it's moving to cover that. Uh, let's say minus seven. I want you to cover their white. I'm trying to move that. There's a white space that you're seeing by the edge. So minus eight. Yeah, great. So that's why it's covered. Then when I increase the width a bit so that it can cover this side. So let's say one or two. Uh, okay, it's too much. So one or one point five or so. One one point. Let's do one point two. So one thing about doing with CSS is that you you have to just be suit it, make it suit what you are doing. So you be adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. Um, but Bootstrap, if you are using Bootstrap and all those templates, WordPress. Most of them bring out the template already. So you don't need to be doing lots of, much of these adjustments. But CSS, like it helps you to be more creative because you had one doing it from start to finish. Like you had one styling everything. That's why it's called style sheets. So you had one doing the size. Yes. So heights, let's adjust the heights. Mm. Let's say, um, 20 bh. Wow, 
is too small. So let's increase it to like 50. Mm -hmm. It's still too small. So first of all, let's bring down this thing from the top. It's too close to um, this home and this thing. So let's give it margin top. Sorry to come out. Yeah, so how do you like it? Do you want us to leave this background as white? The background of the header as white? Or do you want this one to go to the back or to make it yellow like this? Which one will look fine now? Um, I think we change the um color of the other like the background. We change it to what to yellow, right? Or black? Or well, let's just use it like that on the then we use black. Mm. Or we should so what use... about the text? The text is in black. And we'll change, about to white. we'll change the text to white. Uh, okay, now, yeah, let's change to black. Okay. Mm. Okay. So let's do that one first so that we'll settle that part. So on your CSS, you just go up to the header, header, yeah. Then give it background color. It might not be totally black. It be a lighter form of black. But black can be too yeah. deep. So you, as I told you before, you hover over um, this, then you select the lighter one. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do that for the last check. All right. Mm. Should we make it lighter? It's okay. It's okay. Okay, it's okay. So, um, Yes. So for the text, the text will be white. So let's change the text. So from the header, I think now you can automatically change. Let's see. Color. White. Instead of going to each of them. See so if it automatically change everything. Great. So without going to each of the company, you can just see from the header, you just change color. White. So white. Yeah. So now there's this space. I, we don't like to see these margins. Um, so let's just remove. Let me see uh, if margins. So we just add those margin left to we'll push it as we did to this image. First of all, let's push up the margin top minus. Um, Margin top minus um let's say minus five pixels. Yeah, you can see it's going up. Yeah, so it's still many small. So let's say minus seven pixels. Minus it's the site's looking finer. <laughs> Uh, color combination is very nice. Yeah. It, let me see. I think that is okay. Yeah, minus it's okay. So margin left. So minus eight pixels. So let's see. Great. So it has covered that side. So we now have to extend the width so that it can um, close up that white space at the edge. So it's coming into shape gradually. So we do margin right. Okay, sorry, no margin, like width. So the width will be 101%. One, one oh one Let's say 101%. One oh one 
Yeah, great. So you can see it's many small. So let's say 101.2. Great. It has covered everything now. So now it's the height that will increase now. You can see this foot here yeah, is not, it's too small. So the height of the header, we'll give it a height. Height of, um, let's say 10, starts with 10. Okay. Um, oh, this button. It's not position, it's not position absolute, so it's disturbing it. Let's check the position of that button. Position absolute helps it to be on its own so that the movement of something else will not disturb its movement. So you can see we didn't give it any position absolute. It's meant to be position absolute. Position absolute. Oh, okay. So this foot will take it back. So let's check for foot. Foot, 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 foot. Um, what do you call the foot? Okay, logo text. Or just logo in general. Let's take the logo. Um, back. So continue to take it back. Four, mm. By the time you get to other sites like, let's say, we are, I mean, other language like, let's say, React. To make all these things somehow easier than, you know, styling. And not everybody has the strength to start doing one by one. <laughs> but that's what CSS uh, CSS helps you to know it in depth. Like, because you are the one that is creative mm -hmm. about it. But all those ones don't exactly. provide, yeah, it's to provide a template for you. <laughs> like, it does follow. Is that like CSS? It, it has CSS, yes. And it's only that. It's easier than this because those ones you do a component. Yeah. So you don't get the component names and everything. Then there are some things that make React uh, easier to use, like material, UI, all those things. So it's to provide the template for you. Just take the code and put in your own. And it works so um, React is like a text editor. No, it's still a language too. Like, but it's a okay. programming language. Yeah. It's just like okay. the way we have CSS and HTML, so yeah. Or it is somehow easier, especially in terms of functionality. Okay. Because you, it's not like JavaScript that you do the functionality by yourself. But React in a way provides the functional, more of the functionality for you uh, in a way. Okay. Yeah. That's why people recommend you start with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, because it builds you on the foundation. You do everything by yourself. <laughs> It's not an easy uh, kind of, but with time you get used to it. Okay. So let's make sure you adjust the. I have you collected the. I think you had some space too on the left and right. Yes, your, sir. Okay. Have you collected that part? Yes, sir. Yes. Does be moving margin left. Margin like this one, I want to move it a bit to the right. So yeah. So I'll do margin uh, left. I think it's okay there. Yeah. So let me increase the height again. This thing is still to I want the the space up here to be equal to the space on the bottom. So the height of the header I increase the bit by two. So you can see it's no more affecting. Before when I push it down, it was distorting this one to right now. 
Yeah, but once you yes. give this position absolute, nothing in this place can stop it again. Yes. So it's too much. Let's give it 11 point something. Eleven point five. Yeah, I think that's good. Right. Okay, so let's now bring our image down. So it's becoming clearer to you, so you understand it better now, right? Yes, sir. Love hmm. be patient. So you can see the, the essence of making your thing unique. If you don't say let's carry their own and put there'll be no difference. <laughs> But this one was design, even the design, so we're bringing it out of us. So in coding, like there are some people that are specialized in doing this design that we're doing by ourselves. Some people do it, you they pay for it. Like companies pay people to do this thing that we're doing by ourselves. <laughs> no, yeah. So this is where creativity comes into play, like when you're coding. You try as much as possible to be creative. Try and do things by yourself. Great. So our image is there. Look at the arm. So what we just did is this thing that you are saying uh, is bigger. Yes. Okay. Um, it's looking very, very beautiful. <laughs> so our own and the arm, which one is final? <laughs> So I can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> and people have, their, yeah, people have their different perspective, but our one is more colorful. I'm not saying it's yeah. fine, but it's more yeah. attractive than the other one. Yeah. Like the other one yeah. is the dark kind of mood. Yeah, for the other. But it's unique. The other is unique in their own way. Yeah. Why are it unique now? Yeah. So what you now want to do now is, you see, if when you are scrolling up, it's moving, the header is moving with the image. And we don't want yes, to sir. look at the hour. The header is still there. You can yeah. see why it's moving. So let's make that happen now. So what you do is just it's a very simple code line of code. You just say um header um position fixed. Position for the header will be fixed. So it can be fixed there. So let's see. Position. Fixed. Yeah, great. So let's see. Okay. So what happened now was that it reduced the size. Oh, okay, in 10 minutes. So, okay, no problem. Even if it's this header, we're able to do I'm, I'm really, really happy. Like, because many people struggle with this. Yeah, so I think it's cool like this. Yeah. Yeah, everything is working well. So what's happening now, let's put the text quickly before we go, let's put a text here. So the text must be inviting, the text must be attractive. Like when people come to that, like this one inside is big like this. Uh -huh. So it's telling people, users, what the site's about. So let's see how we can, um, do something creative there. What can we write? Um, um, should we say know, know your foot? Know your foot or something like that. You know, the site is all about telling you about food and nutritional content. So what topic will we be able to portray that? Uh -huh. What do you I think? You Maybe we should use that one. That one is okay. Yeah, know your foot, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah. so we'll put it on the left side. Um, 
let me open up this. Yeah, so you go to your HTML. Um, yes, so inside the hero below this, you just open under that div. Then inside the div, just put your know your foot. Um, I want to make it in such a way that um, it's not just being a straight line. So know your will be above. You can copy this and put one at the bottom. Under div for foot. Yes. So know your foot. So this first one will be in class. Um, first, let's say first, first text, F I. First, first text. Then this one second thing. It will be below it. Second, second text. Wait. Um. So let's see what that looks like. Um. Where is that thing? Okay, you can see it's at the bottom here. Yeah. yeah. You can see the uh, stuff worked. When I was scrolling, now you notice that it's not this header is not going with the image again. Yeah, that kind of yes, sir. Thing. So you see, know your foot here under here. Yeah. So what we do now is to raise it up. First of all, let's put two of them inside the div, both the first text and the second text, so that we can be able to control two of them at the same time in CSS. So your styling goes a long way. The way you, the structure of your HTML goes a long way. It helps you to, in your CSS and responsiveness. Yeah. So let's say um, hero text. So hero text. So in CSS, let's target that hero text. Let's try and move. A little fast now, can I want us to at least this your text? So you say, imagine top. Let's say 30 pixels. Let me see if that will work out. Okay, no. So you say minus 30 pixels, like minus 30 pixels. So to take it up, I want it to go up here. So let's increase. Till it gets way up, one fifty. Wait, let's say four fifty. Okay, let's start with that. So let's make it look finer. This looks uh, kind of. So as I told you, you're not in Google Fonts. So as a front end developer, you have to have a design kind of skill. Like you should be good at designs here. Yeah. Design skills. Yeah, I see there. Hello? Okay, yeah, I see there, right? Yes, sir, I'm here, sir. Okay, I see. So let's use this one quickly. For the, um, oh, what did I? Remove all this thing is um, okay. Why is it like this?
um, I want it is meant to come out here. I don't know. Why. Okay. Like we did before. Okay, let's not waste time. What happens is that for this, for the foot, we'll make it like this, but the know your can be like this. You know I mean? So the foot, we can make it like this. Just add some. Okay, so time is soon be running out. Okay, let's quickly do something. So the foot. Let's go to the foot is second text. So under this, we also dot second text. Text. Yes, great. So uh, we'll now go to that logo one that we give the logo text. You can see the font lobster. Copy it. Then just simply paste it under here. Yeah. So it will affect only that. So we we'll now increase the size of everything, the logo text. So you can say font size um, or no. Let's take it one after the other first because they are different, going to be different sizes. So the first, um, first text. Uh, font size 1.5 rem. Rem is a unit of measuring texts in big, big values. So, so font, you can use pixel, you can use rem. So it's on, but rem is easier yeah. to quantify. But okay. like, it's going to be very big. But if you start using pixel, it's be going small, small, small. <laughs> so, okay. So one minute left for our answer. So let's, um, so just increase the foot. I think this know your might be okay. Let's increase the size. I want the foot to be the biggest. Okay. That is the major subject. Okay, sir. Yeah. So you can see something like this. Yeah, know your foot. We can see, we'll see other things on that, like just to give a brief description of what. Okay. Inside, yeah, so you cannot push it to the everything into the because it's too much to the left. So the other margin left, so you can give it like 30 pixels. Then okay. we just margin top, make it 400 or so because it's just too much to the top. It's meant to be centralized. Yeah. 